few wolves shouldn't be much trouble. They should send a warning to the huntsman. <laughs> I wonder how he'll react to losing his pets. Mistios, thank you. Those fuckers thought they could hold me, but they just didn't understand. No prison can hold me. Nobody can hold me down. Not even that stupid order. Right. They were ruining my favorite wine-drinking view with all their mercenaries. No one wants to see trashy mercenaries around their homes. No offense. None taken. You know, I overheard them say they had brought another three mercenaries here. Can you believe that? I'll help you get your view back. Fuck yes! There's three mercenaries, remember. Once they're gone, I'd love to share a cup of wine with you in my spot. Even if you are a mistios yourself. I'd like that. Find that foul-mouthed old lady and take her up on that wine. Old lady! Some mercenary came out of nowhere and stabbed her in the back. 
She stumbled back here mumbling something about how they weren't going to ruin her view. The view is pretty good. This man is tough to survive being buried alive like this. Joining the order. Hm. What could go wrong? Need anything, Mistios? I heard you're the person to talk to around here if I have uh, bear pelts to sell. You don't have enough bear pelts. Come back when you do. can drive people to do foolish things. It's you. Do you have the bear pelts we talked about? You're in the right place if you want to give me bear pelts. Here are the uh, bear pelts. Over here. Okay. Oh, wait. I forgot the code. Hold on. I always do that. In the beginning, there was chaos. And we are the Order. By Zeus, you're good. Good thing you knew the code. I would have needed a note back otherwise. Right. I'm but a small tool in the hands of the gods. But sometimes that's what they need. This man's life was a tragedy. Done making trouble. And this is the proud. Strange name. Ella.
We've done your cult favors, and we've come to claim ours. Signed, the Tempest. The Order and the cult working together. Not surprising. The Tempest is performing flawlessly. But I will continue my observations. Someone sent this woman to spy on the Tempest. The Tempest has heavy influence here. I need to know more. We need time to get the new weapons fitted onto our fleet. New weapons? I don't like the sound of that. I need to know more about the Tempest. Capture the stranded people in Vura. We can't let them establish a foothold there. I wonder if Klita knows about this. That's all the letters I need. The Tempest is a brilliant strategist. A straight fight won't work. We'll need a plan to defeat her. Hey, watch your step. And it is the proud. What did I do now to deserve your gifts, friend? Exactly where Antidi said it'd be. There you are, Malaka! Whoa, whoa, wait, it's me! Antidis? The proud. Finally, Antidis, we meet. It's good to see you. You should have seen your face, Eagle Bearer. <laughs> But no! That's not why I'm here. You! Why can't you leave me alone? What did I do now? Save your stepsister's cows? My aunt was among the stranded people you saved from the fortress. You've got to be kidding. And now I don't have anything left to reward you. My pockets are dry, my house empty. I've come here to tell you that I... Aeantidis the Proud, who shall never be indebted to anyone, will owe you, Eagle Bearer, a... favor. No, no, you've done enough. You don't owe me anything. Don't make this harder than it is. Tell me, what is it you need done? Join my crew and work on the Adrestia. Oh no, I have a family to take care of. Something else. Anything. I have a problem with a secret organization. The Order. Destroy them for me. Secret organization? I can't possibly do that. Be reasonable. There is a powerful commander here in Achea that I need killed. The Tempest. Murder? You ask murder of me? Unacceptable. Ask for something else. You know what? Just leave me alone. That would help. A lot. Fine. But this isn't over, Eagle Bear. I know we will see each other again. Then I shall redeem my honor. You will ask something of me, I'm sure of it. Unbelievable! I hope I don't run into him again. I saw you talking to my husband. I can help. The engineer's wife. What do you know about the weapon plans? My husband scattered code books around the hair. Some are amongst the Tempest's fleet, and others are in the shipyard. With them, you learn how to build and install the weapon. Then you can end the Tempest and avenge my husband. 
I'll end the Tempest with or without your husband's weapon. Either way, he'll be avenged. He would be happy to hear that. I'll find those codebooks. This must be one of the code books the engineer's wife mentioned. I can't understand any of this, but maybe Barnabas can. Our baby safe? Your father, too. It's only you I couldn't. I never got the chance to say goodbye. There are some things I want to get for you. This time, I'll be back. Here's your bow, where you left it. You'll want it back. Our baby's blanket. Now everything's done. I should visit Natakas's grave in Achea. It's time to say goodbye. These are ours. A reminder of our time together. I miss you. Your laugh and your infuriating insight. I'll never forget you, Natakas. Trust me. Prisoners. 
And Morgus wouldn't like it if I freed them. The prisoner is mentioned in the letter. I should free them. And did this? Is that you? Yes! Yes, thank the gods! Wait, Cassandra? No! Why did it have to be you again? Go away! Help! Someone else! Help! Help! Keep your voice down! my proud friend. What's happened to you this time? The gods are not fair to Aeantiris. I spent my wealth on my gifts to you. I don't complain. That was fair. Then someone told me I could make a fortune in Messinia. But those Malakas sold me for a fortune instead. I am a slave here. And now you show up. How is that fair? This isn't my fault. It's your pride that did this. Yes, I, Aeantiris, am proud. And I will never be indebted to anyone. But now you save me again? Why do you keep doing this to me? I could hardly leave you to rot in that cage, Antidis. You just can't leave me out of your heroic deeds, can you? Now what can I do? I have nothing, Cassandra. Nothing to pay my debt to you. Antidis, the Greeks are indebted to the gods, aren't they? Of course we are. We can never repay their gifts to us. I am proud, Cassandra, but not that proud. I am the messenger of Zeus. I'm basically a god. What? This is worse. How can I ever repay my debt to you? As a god, I can forgive your debt, can I not? I... Yes, I suppose you can. I could use you on my ship. Parnavas may hate me, but you'll be kept out of trouble and your debt to me will be fulfilled. I, Aeantidis, will never be indebted to anyone. Except a god. Who can resist the gods? I accept. I'll see you on my ship, mortal. Morgus wants respect for his soldiers. I'll give them some. 